When I was in high school, uh, I decided to learn how to talk cars. I couldn't drive cars because my blind, my wheelie blind was back then. Down this name on YouTube. So I thought I would learn how to talk cars. Well, one of the stories that came up when I was going through this whole I want to learn how to talk cars phase was uh, one of the older guys had a huge red Dodge Ram, which is like a Bronco or a Suburban or something. It's this monstrous truck. Uh, and it was bright red and had all the lights on it and the whole gear. The One day he got in a really nasty wreck. Uh, what happened was, as he's driving down the road and he's going around this curve, this lady pulls out of a parking lot and right in front of him. She actually comes up and comes to the stop and he thinks, well, she's going to stop. So he's going about 40 miles an hour and he just keeps going and she just pulls right out in front of him and he just plows right in her driver door. And it's all flat so there's plenty of room to see but he was, he was coming around a little bit of a curve. He didn't know what happened. He's like, why did she just pull right out in front of me? Can she not see this giant red truck? Well, he found out later that uh, sure enough, the lady had been blind in her right eye most of her life. So she, she still had a good left eye and had passed her driving test and all this. But it turns out uh, there was this thing called a blind spot. Now, I learned more about it later in college. Actually in psychology, we covered what a blind spot is in the human eye. The, in the back of the human eye, it's just, a, it's just a ball, and in the back of it, off to the side, on both eyes, you have the nerve cluster that where all of the retina, which is like the film in the camera, pulls in information and sends it through that nerve cluster to your brain. Where the nerve cluster is, you don't have any vision. On the left eye, it's on the inside of your eye towards the back, which means since, since you see an inverted image, on the back of your retina, what happens is your blind spot is right here. So as I'm looking right at the camera, my blind spot is right about here. Now I've made a little experiment. This is what they showed us in psychology class several years later. Okay, so here's, here's the experiment. On a sheet of paper, uh, put one little X and one little dot. Uh, I'm using blue in this case. Uh, it doesn't have to be blue, it can be any color. I'm sorry, they're not, not quite even. You want them, I don't know, four or five inches apart. And what you do is you get close to it. In this case, it's the left eye. So we're, if with the left eye, you put the lighter dot to the left. And with the right eye, you just flip it over. So close your right eye and look at this with your left eye. And then what you do is you slowly draw back. And you keep looking at that dot. And at some point, this dot will vanish. It really will. Uh, and like I said, if you want to do it with your right eye, you just turn it over and repeat the experiment. Remember, close your other eye. Now what happens is, uh, and this has been documented over and over and over again, she had her left eye was good. So she glanced to the left, did not see the truck because it fell in her blind spot and pulled out. Even though it was this giant red truck barreling down at her at 40 something miles an hour or whatever it was in that spot. And kapow, hits her. But the dots, it, it doesn't really matter how far apart you put them, as long as, as, long as they're even and you, you pull apart, because right at the left side, and it, it's, it's spooky. It's spooky the first time you do it, because it really does go away. Give it a shot. It's, it's a fun thing to try, and it'll show you what a blind spot is. Now, the nice thing about blind spots, even though it's on the outside of your eye, and you'd think, wow, you'll, that, that runs into problems all the time. Why don't I see it all the time? It's because your brain compensates for it. Your brain, the human brain is amazing. It, it, it literally fills in the blank spot in your eye. So when you're just looking around not paying much attention, even if you close one eye, you don't see your blind spot. It's just the fact that whatever detail is there really is gone. And one nice thing about having two healthy eyes, not only binocular vision, but the other eye, your right eye, fills in that blank for your left eye and your left eye fills in the blank for your right eye, hopefully. It doesn't always work because if you're looking too far to the side, you know, you notice your right eye, doesn't catch anything while well, your left eye still has that blind spot sitting out there. Anyway, 